Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A compact SUV from GAC, the GS4 1.5T GDI, and a 4x4 pickup from Ford, the Ranger Wildtrak 4x4. Plus, it featured a feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Maxxis D60 Elite versus the MG RX5 Alpha. On Autopedia, we'll talk about what an engine overhaul entails. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of the new Nissan Patrol as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Confident to the core. the lead. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from GAC. In this car review, we take a look at another China brand compact SUV making it a buyer's market for Filipinos looking for affordable family vehicles. While some Chinese automakers like to cloak their products in repute borrowed from global legacy brands, JAC Motor is forthright about the origins, design, technology of the vehicles it manufactures and distributes. One such project is the all-new GAC GS4 1.5T GDI, another one of the compact SUVs from China in the local market, already awash in models from more established brands from Japan, South Korea, Europe, and the US even. At 4,545mm long, 1,856mm wide, and 1,668mm tall, and with a 2,680mm long wheelbase, the GAC GS4 sits quite well in the compact SUV segment along with the likes of the Geely Escara. But with an SRP of 1.098 million pesos, the GS4 competes price-wise in the subcompact SUV segment, along with the likes of the Geely Coolray. The second-generation GS4 is taller and wider than its predecessor. It is also a lot more muscular and attractive, with a bolder front grille and edgier-looking LED headlamps with daylight running lights. The floating roof design makes for a distinctive profile that, if you look close enough, outlines a shark. The rear looks a lot sleeker too, with a distinctive LED tail light and turn signals, metal chrome accents on the tailgates, rear fog lights, and high-mounted LED brake light. The new GS4 also comes with power-adjustable side mirrors, shark fin antenna, panoramic sunroof, and 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels.
Getting into the GS4 is quite easy and secure using what GEC calls the Passive Entry Passive Start System. That is just another term for a smart key system that enables one to unlock doors or start the engine without physically using the key or key fob. The GS4 interior exudes a premium vibe with a black and tan seat leather upholstery that match the side panel trim and the dash replete with soft surfaces. The well-bolstered front seats offer a lot of comfort, with the driver able to manually adjust his seat six ways and four ways for the passenger. The rear seats also offer good comfort with lots of leg and headroom, as well as three separate adjustable headrests. The reclinable rear seat also splits and folds 60-40. It also comes with a fold-down center armrest and cup holders. Second row passengers also benefit from the rear vents for automatic air conditioning that comes with PM1 level filtration system. The dash looks and feels premium even with analog dials and 3.5 inch instrument panel display. There's an 8 inch LCD touchscreen display for the infotainment system which comes with Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, USB port, AM FM radio, and 6 speakers. The leather trimmed steering wheel comes with controls for audio, hands free phone system, and cruise control. There are also controls for the infotainment system easily within reach on the center console. Driving the GEC GS4 can be described as smooth and effortless. It is powered by a third-generation Euro 5-compliant 1.5-liter turbocharged engine developed by GEC Motor itself, but made it to a 6-speed automatic gearbox supplied by Aizen of Japan. The engine produces 166 horsepower at 5,000 revolutions per minute, 270 Nm of torque, between 1,700 to 4,000 RPM. The powertrain comes with three driving modes, economic, manual, and sport. GAC Motor says the turbocharger the GS4 engine uses Bosch's second-generation high-pressure system, providing faster response and earlier peak torque. Turbo lag is hardly felt and there is always adequate power and torque for safe overtaking. Some may find the GS4 electric power steering light, which for some can be a good thing, especially in stop-and-go traffic and narrow seats. The suspension uses independent McPherson struts in front and independent multi-link beams in the rear. The brake system uses discs on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Parking is made easy and effortless with parking sensors and rear-view camera. Adding to comfort and confidence in driving the GS4 are a slew of driver assist and safety features. These include anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, hydraulic brake assist, electronic stability program, hill start hold control, hill descent control, and electronic parking brake with auto hold. The electronic stability program is particularly helpful in providing better stability at high speeds by correcting oversteering at sudden cornering or lane changes. Also added for safety and security are dual front airbags, front side airbag, seat belts with pretensioner and force limiter in the front row seats, three point seat belts for second row passengers, Isofix child safety seat anchor, second row child safety door lock, tire pressure monitoring system, and engine immobilizer with anti theft alarm. GAC Motor certainly has reason to be forthright about the origins of the GS4. In price and features, it should be worth a look and a test drive when deciding on compact SUV options. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours.
Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. The Mazda MX-5 Club Edition is now available locally with a soft top. Mazda Philippines revealed this while announcing a fresh round of color and trim changes for the 2022 MX-5. This includes a new body color, Platinum Quartz Metallic, which features a silky white finish with quartz-like translucency. Buyers still have the option to personalize their MX-5 by using the Build Your MX-5 portal on Mazda's official site. There are 76 possible combinations for customizing the 2022 Mazda MX-5, which comes with either a 6-speed Sky Active Drive automatic or manual transmissions, and are available in soft top and retractable fastback body styles. Steven Tan, President and CEO of Mazda Philippines, says there is room to involve the driver even more to enhance their emotional bond with their car. Mazda is continuing to elevate this already unique driving experience with the introduction of new features and owner-initiated options. A new feature is the kinematic posture control, which Mazda says provides a more integrated and stable turning posture when cornering at high speeds. Kia Philippines is looking to inspire VIPs with the launch of the all-new Carnival. The all-new Carnival has been designed for VIPs looking for a modern executive family van, a grand utility vehicle offering space, luxurious comfort, and smart performance. Simon Kang, Coordinating Director of Product Planning at Kia Asia Pacific, describes the new Carnival as a top-of-the-line vehicle for executives and for family leisure, offering ample headroom, spacious and welcoming seats, and constructed with elegant materials. The all-new Carnival is offered only with two 7-seater variants, the SX and the EX, both powered by a new SmartStream 2.2 VGT CRDI engine made into an 8-speed automatic transmission. Available colors are Snow White Pearl, Aurora Black Pearl, and Astra Blue. Priced at 2.998 million pesos, the Carnival SX 880T is now available at Kia dealerships. The 2.5 million peso Carnival EX 880T is arriving this March. Toyota Motor Philippines has announced that the new RAV4 Hybrid has arrived equipped with exciting upgrades, including a hybrid electric vehicle system as well as Toyota Safety Sense. The new RAV4 HEV comes in two variants, the LTD and XLE, both powered by a 2,487cc 16-valve DOHC inline-4 gasoline engine coupled to a hybrid system. In adding another model to Toyota's local hybrid lineup, Sherwin Chua Lim, Toyota Motor Philippines' first vice president for vehicle sales operations, says Filipinos are ready for energy-efficient mobility options with less emissions, and hybrids offer choices that are practical and ready to use in our existing infrastructure and road conditions. The new Toyota RAV4 Hybrid is available in a wide range of colors, each for the LTD and XLE variants, with prices starting at 2.157 million pesos. DHL Express Philippines has acquired three BYD T3 electric vehicles for its logistics fleet. Called the Pure Electric Logistics Van, the BYD electric vans have a range of 250 kilometers on a full charge and can load up to 3.5 cubic meters of cargo. Nigel Lockett, DHL Express Philippines Country Manager, says the purchase of BYD electric vans is a first step towards greener logistics which will benefit the environment, customers, and the general public. This is part of Dutch Post DHL Group's global target of running 60% of its vehicles electrically by 2030 and to reduce logistic-related emissions to zero by 2050. BYD vehicles are distributed in the Philippines by Solar Transport Corporation. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push the extremes to race 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 that's when you find the limit that's our ambition so you too can race yours Isuzu D-Max into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news 
and Features Electronic Magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on head-to-head. With each new addition to the market, the compact SUV segment is getting more exciting for buyers of either 7-seaters or 5-seaters. In this edition of Head to Head, we're comparing the 7-seater Maxus D60 Elite and the 5-seater MG RX5 Alpha in a spec-to-spec -spec comparo. It seems Chinese car makers are enamored with British brands. Two Chinese manufacturers of British branded vehicles, Maxxis and MG are battling it out in the local market. In their respective local lineups are compact SUVs that offer much in bang for every buck in marketing strategy much favored these days. Maxxis Philippines has brought in the D60 Elite, a compact 7-seater SUV, while MG Philippines offers the 5-seater MG RX5 Alpha. The Maxxis D60 Elite is 4,720mm long, 1,860mm wide and 1,736mm tall with a 2,760mm long wheelbase. This compares to 4,545mm long, 1,855mm wide and 1,719mm tall with a 2,700mm long wheelbase for the MG RX5 Alpha. The Maxxis D60 Elite exterior features cobweb-like grille, matrix-style LED auto headlights, sleek daytime running lights, streamer tail lights and 18-inch alloy wheels. It also comes with front and rear fog lamps, functional roof rails, rear window defogger, and auto power folding side view mirrors. The RX5 Alpha features full LED headlamps with daytime running lights, chrome frame front fog lamps, side view mirrors with LED signal lights, LED tail lights, high mount stop lamp, and shark fin antenna. It also comes with front and rear skid plates, roof rails, lower body slide with ABS cladding and molding all in matte silver finish as well as a panoramic sunroof and 18-inch two-tone alloy wheels wrapped by 235-50R18 tires. The front-wheel drive Maxxis D60 Elite is powered by a 1,490cc four-cylinder turbocharged and intercooled gasoline engine with direct fuel injection generating 169 PS at 5,500 revolutions per minute and 250 Nm of torque at 1,700 to 4,300 revolutions per minute. It is made into a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission system Underneath the hood of the front-wheel drive MG RX5 Alpha is a 1.5-liter inline 4-cylinder 16-valve gasoline engine with direct fuel injection, turbocharger, and intercooler, generating 169 PS and 250 Nm of torque at 4,400 revolutions per minute. This is made into a 7-speed twin-clutch Sportronic transmission. The Elite suspension system features front McPherson struts and multi-link system in the rear. The brakes use this on all four wheels. The MG RX5 suspension also features McPherson struts and multi-link system in the rear. It also comes with an all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Keyless entry lets one into the D60 Elite cabin with leather seats for 7 and standard 232 configuration. The driver's seat manually adjusts 6 ways, the front passenger manually adjusts 4 ways. The second row seat splits 60-40 and features a pull-down center armrest. The third row seat for two reclines splits and folds flat 50-50. The smart keyless entry lets one into the MG RX5 Alpha cabin which features leather style seats for five with matching leather style side door panels. The driver's seat power just six ways. The rear seats fold flat, increasing trunk space from 595 liters to 1639 liters. The Maxxis D60 Elite comes with push-button start, multi-function steering wheel, cruise control, power window, central door locking, electronic power steering, and an air conditioning system with rear air vents. The MG RX5 interior features touches of chrome gauge cluster and center stack trimming, as well as in the AC vents and the shift lever. It also comes with sliding front armrests, dual front cup holders and cover, rear passenger reading lamps, map pockets, and front seat back. Comfort and convenience features include push button engine start stop, air conditioning with electronic temperature control and rear vents and center console and floor tunnel, electric parking brake, and power windows. The infotainment system in the D60 Elite features an 8-inch touchscreen display, USB and Bluetooth connectivity, and 6 speakers. The MG RX5 Alpha infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen display, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay, multimedia play and USB port, and 6 speakers. 
The Maxxis D60 Elite is equipped with advanced safety and driver assist technologies that include driver and front passenger airbags, driver and front passenger side airbags, three point ELR seat belts for front and rear seats. It also comes with reverse camera, front and rear parking sensor, tire pressure monitoring system, emergency brake assist, plus hill hold control, anti lock brakes with electronic brake force distribution, electronic stabilization program. The RX-5 Alpha is equipped with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, cornering brake control, electronic stability control, hill descent control, auto hold function, and anti-roll protection. Reverse camera with rear sensors, and it also comes with driver and passenger airbags, side airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5 with pre-tensioner, and load limiter for driver and front seat passenger, auto door lock function, child lock, isofix child seat mounting points as well as a tire pressure monitoring system and alarm system with immobilizer. There is growing market acceptance for vehicles made in China, and both the Maxus D60 Elite and MG RX5 Alpha should help this trend grow. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. GAC Motor Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The Nissan Patrol has just turned 70, and it certainly has aged well, as can be seen in the following special feature on the local launch of the latest generation Patrol. Nissan Patrol is a big part of the brand heritage. In fact, 2021 is the 70th year anniversary of the Patrol since it was launched in Japan in 1951. This was the first car to climb up Mount Fuji and started the Go Anywhere spirit for the succeeding generation of Nissan SUV. Built on 70 years of SUV heritage, the Nissan Patrol continues its legacy here in the Philippines. It is now smarter than ever and leads its class in innovation, luxury, and performance.
the new Nissan Patrol upgraded exterior as a modern and commanding presence, giving it a new stylish look while remaining true to its SUV heritage and go anywhere spirit. It has a new V-Motion grille, new boomerang-shaped LED headlights and taillights, Nismo-inspired bumper, and new 20-inch alloy wheel design. It also features the new Nissan badge. The interior gives you the timeless, classic feeling coming from the leather and wood finish. Especially from the back seat, the combination of spaciousness, conveniences, and amenities gives a whole new meaning to comfort and luxury. With the infotainment system and the premium Bose speakers, you'll be glad to have this as your own VIP suite on wheels. I love the power and innovation inside the Nissan Patrol with its commanding and modern new design and luxurious comfort. It is everything a leader is looking for in an executive vehicle. Nissan says the Patrol is known globally as the hero of all terrains. With its looks and features and all-terrain capabilities, the Patrol can rightly be known as the hero of Philippine terrains. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Even under a pandemic, the local automotive industry continues to provide buyers a whole lot of options from SUVs to crossovers, sedans to hatchbacks to vans. This is also especially true in the pickup segment. This car review checks out the Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 Automatic. Ford Philippines has one of the most extensive lineups of pickups offered in the local market. The variants cater to a lot of needs, wants, and budgets of pickup buyers. One of the variants is the Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x4. It is 5,354 millimeters long, 1,860 millimeters wide and 1,848 millimeters tall with a 3,220 millimeters long wheelbase. Ground clearance at 232 millimeters, it is quite respectable for a 4x4 pickup with off-road intentions, that is. The new Rangers have the Ford built tough look, muscular and athletic, but the Wild Track comes with distinguishing exterior features to separate it from its siblings. 
The headlamps, daylight running lights, front fog lamps, even the puddle lamps are all LEDs. The rear sport bar is black with saber inserts. Other wild track features are quite functional and add to convenience, like the rain sensing wipers, the power folding and power adjustable exterior mirrors with side trade indicators, the tailgate lock and tailgate lift assist. The wild track also comes with side steps and roof rails, as well as 18 inch alloy wheels strapped by 265-60 R18 tires. The Ranger pickup is a 1.3 ton maximum payload capacity, and the wild track already comes with cargo bed liners and inner tie downs that help secure cargo. An auxiliary 12 volt power outlet on the load box adds to functionality. Also, a segment first feature the Ford Wild Track 4x4 automatic comes with power roller shutter. This is a new feature that offers great security and functionality when transporting cargo. This can be activated from inside the cabin through a switch on the dashboard, by a button in the tray, or by using the key fob. It also has been designed with an anti pinch feature to prevent injury or damage when contact is made with an object. Moreover, Ford has given the Wild Track a lot of comfort and convenience features and technologies that buyers now expect in top end vehicles. This starts with smart keyless entry with push start button. This allows one to get into the roomy Ranger cabin without fumbling with keys and keyholes. Inside, one finds leather seats with accents unique to the Wild Track. This complements the leather wrapped steering wheel with contrast stitching. The driver's seat adjusts electronically, the front passengers adjust manually. The rear bench seat is also quite comfortable for three. It's even more comfortable with just two in the back because of the full down center armrest. The dashboard looks quite smart and functional with the dual color 4.2 cluster screens. Ambient lighting also lends a touch of coolness to the Wild Track. The Wild Track also features power windows, dual zone air conditioning, sun visors with vanity mirrors. The auxiliary 12 volt power outlet and the 230 volt inverter in the rear console provide for a multitude of functional possibilities on long road trips and off road trails. The Wild Track can be wired to the web with an infotainment system that features an 8 inch color touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth to connect with phones, and for audio streaming. Better yet, it comes with Sync 3 with voice activated controls, making for real hands free operations. It also has a built in navigation system. There are three USB ports, one of which is mounted on the windshield. The system also plays through six speakers. The Wild Track is a fun drive for a pickup, especially the 4x4 variant, which is powered by a 2 liter bi turbo diesel engine that generates 230 PS at 3,750 revolutions per minute and 500 Nm of torque from 1,750 to 2,000 RPM. In the Wild Track 4x4, all that power and torque are sent to the rear wheels, or all four wheels when needed, by a 10 speed automatic transmission. It also comes with E locking rear differential. The Wild Track is not only fun but also a relatively comfortable ride for a pickup with a suspension system using double wishbone with coil springs on the front and leaf springs in the rear. Steering is almost effortless with electric power assisted steering. Pickups also need a brake system that provides confident stopping power especially when carrying heavy loads. The Ranger uses front ventilated discs and rear drums for brakes. The Wild Track comes with driver assisted safety technology that includes anti lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and pre collision assist with pedestrian detection and autonomous emergency braking. Also, helping make driving the Wild Track easier and safer is Hill Launch Assist, Hill Descent Control, Lane Keeping Aid with Lane Departure Warning, Auto High Beam Control, Electronic Stability Control with Rollover Mitigation and Traction Control. On tollways with maximum speed limits, adaptive cruise control with forward collision alert make it easier and safer to maintain proper speeds. Parking pickups can be a chore as most offer no easy sight line to judge distance, especially in tight crowded parking areas. The Wild Track comes with front and rear parking sensors, rear view cameras with active park assist. Other Wild Track safety and security features include six airbags, ELR seat belts, child seat isofix anchorage points, and a volumetric burglar alarm system. The Ford Philippines' website lists the Ranger Wild Track 4x4 automatic at 1.728 million pesos. Is that price reasonable for a powerful Ranger with all the modern smart connectivity, safety, and driver assist features? Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia.
sometimes your card can have the dreaded O word. And by O, we mean overhaul. We'll explain to you in as simple terms as possible what an engine overhaul actually entails and what is done when you overhaul an engine. Overhauling an engine simply means that you have to take the engine, take it all apart, and then replace some parts inside. And the parts that are almost always replaced with an overhaul are these things, the piston rings. These are the first ones to go inside the engine. As you notice, there's a bit of spring in this. So this is what seals the piston to the combustion chamber. And over time, wear and tear, and obviously this thing is operating in hundreds of degrees Celsius environment, these tend to fail and not to be as springy no more. So the actual part on a normal overhaul engine is just to replace the piston rings, which are these things. There's normally four of them now in a modern engine. And there's, a oil, there's the oil ring land here, which is a bit hard to get out. I need a special pick to get it out. But these are the things that are replaced in a normally overhauled engine. This part is cheap. It's getting to it that's expensive. And the things that you have to take out and the things that get replaced that add up to the bill. The primary cause of an engine that needs to be overhauled is number one, old age. By old age, we mean 150,000, sometimes 200,000 kilometers. And it also depends on the engine. Yes, we have all heard stories of the Toyota that lasted a million miles, the Mercedes-Benz engine that lasted another million miles, or 300,000 kilometers on the original engine on a 1990 Honda. Those are more of the exceptions rather than the norm. Normally, an engine's life here in the Philippines is anywhere from 150,000 to maybe 250,000 if you're lucky. By that time, if it's still running great, good for you. But an overhaul is not out of the question with that age of an engine. So when you overhaul an engine, these are all the parts. Actually, this is not all the parts. It's not even all the parts. This is some of the parts of a Subaru engine that we're overhauling. The engine block is not here. It's actually in the machine shop. What adds up to the cost of the overhaul are things like this. When you overhaul the engine, you need new gaskets for, these, for this, new gaskets for that. All the rubber here gets replaced. There, there, rubber seals. Everything gets replaced and this is also a good time to check for wear items like this is an engine mount, if it's already soft or not. This is apparently still in pretty good condition. And then it's also a time for a general cleaning. You clean everything. This is the valve cover, you clean the gunk off the camshafts, you clean the gunk off here. This is the timing chain cover. This one we just freshly cleaned, so this seal has to be replaced as well. So all of the little things do add up. That's what makes a overhaul expensive. How do you know if your car needs an overhaul? The usual classic signs are number one, white smoke coming out of the exhaust. That simply means that the piston ring isn't doing its job anymore. So the oil, which is normally should be here, goes up to the combustion chamber here and then it gets burned. When oil burns, it's usually a white smoke that comes out. So goes out the tailpipe white smoke. When you pull up the dipstick, white smoke comes out of that one. That's a sure sign that you already need an overhaul. Baleado. It's not idling properly. It's not idling correctly. It's idling pretty rough. The engine is shaking a lot. That's a sign, but not necessarily an overhaul. Overheating is another sign that may or may not be a complete overhaul. There is such a thing as a top overhaul where only the cylinder head part have a compression test done. That's another pretty much sure way to figure out if your car needs an overhaul or not. It may or may not be caused by the piston ring. It could also be caused by the valve is not shutting off, the clearance is off, and then as, among other things, head problems, but at least it eliminates some of the possible things that might cause an overhaul. Don't be scared of the word overhaul. Like I said, it is not a death sentence. It's not a person. An engine can always be rebuilt. It's just a matter of time and money. Car is sentimental value to you, somebody drove it through a flood, you can't part with it, engine needs an overhaul, not a problem. It can always be brought back to its former glory if you want to. Yes, it's stressful, yes, it's annoying, yes, it's a drain on your wallet, but unlike a person going to a hospital, the car can always, always be resuscitated back to life.
that's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.